There's a couple of things. I've just remembered the seven day engine failure joke. This is the 2021 Nismo track edition version. Groundbreaking car, absolute game changer. It's got bonded chassis, bonded main structure body, different engine, split manifold turbos, refined suspension, carbon brakes, carbon roof, carbon boot lid. Yeah, it's got carbon. Yeah, there's plenty of carbon on it. It's fully carbonated. It's an absolute weapon. Nissan have always in the GTR range had an N series car. Um, which is normally being kind of really focused towards more of a track version. Lots of brilliant plans for this one. Um, so for me, I always like to sort the handling how it was one of the first things that I do. Why don't I show you? I mean, for me, I'm not always a big brake horsepower chaser. We'll be um, putting some adjustable anti-roll bars on front rear just to take some of the body roll out of it. Being a road going version, for me, it's still a little bit too wobbly and stilty. And then what we'll do after that is we'll move on to changing the front differential. Our preferred differential is a quaff differential for the front. Absolutely transforms the dynamics of the vehicle. Far more aggressive, Good turning, far more control to the driver, great feedback. Once we've sorted the handling out, we're gonna do a little bit of dynamic tweaks. So we'll be um, installing some Nismo carbon fiber vented front wings, which come on the, um, the 180,000 pound Nismo edition. And then we'll be working out the back end of the car as well. You put the two of those together with the redesigned anti-roll bar system and an anti front differential and then you have a car which just sits squat and will do in excess of 200 miles an hour.